Hello literature lovers, today I am going to discuss few points related to literature. This will give you an overall aspect starting with the general of Plague Year. It's a novel by Daniel Defoe, first published in 19, 1722. This novel is an account of one man's experiences of year 1665 in which the Great Plague or the Bubonic Plague struck London. The book is told somewhat chronologically, so without sections or chapter headings. Next is Anatomy of Melancholy with all kinds, causes, symptoms, prolonged lasting and severe cause in it in three main partitions with the several sections, members and subsections, philosophically, medically. It's a book by Robert Burton. This book is presented as a medical textbook in which Burton applies his vast varies learning. Principalia, natural principalia mathematica, often referred to as simply Principia is a work in three books by Isaac Newton. Next is Leviathan or the Matter and Power of Commonwealth SL Axilastical and Civil commonly referred to as Leviathan. It's a book by Thomas Hobbes and published in 1651. It argues for a social contract and rule by an absolute sovereign. Hobbes wrote that civil war and brute situation of a state of nature. Next comes the disc a discourse on the Liberty of Professing in its an essay by Jeremy Taylor on the need for religious freedom. It purports to show the unreasonableness of prescribing to other men's faith and iniquity of prosecuting different opinions. This essay is unique for a number of reasons, one of which is that it was written nearly 50 years before John Locke's uh, seminal a letter concerning toleration. Next comes Jeremy Taylor, who was a cleric in Church of England and got fame for during the Cromwell period. He is sometimes known as the Shakespeare of Divines because of his poetic style and one of the greatest prose writers of English language. He is remembered for in the Church of England's calendar of saints with lesser festival on 13th August. Next comes the vindication of rights of women. It was by Mary Wollstonecraft, one of the earliest works of feminist philosophy, talking about the education and political theories related to 18th century, which doesn't believe in women getting rational education. She argues about the women or to have education. Next comes a treatise of human nature by David Hume concerning to Hume's most important work, one of the most influential works in the history of philosophy, talking about the statement of philosophical empiricism, skepticism and naturalism. In the introduction, Hume presents the idea of placing all Science and Philosophy on a Novel Foundation. Next comes An Inquiry into the Nature and Causes of Wealth. It is by Adam Smith. It is also quite important. Talking about the fundamental works in classical economics. Next comes The Battle of the Books. It is by Jonathan Swift. It talks about a tale in a satirical form filled with allegory. A Modest Proposal by Jonathan Swift. A very harsh, satirical, mocking about the poor attitude of by British policy. Next comes A Tale of a Tub. Very famous work by Jonathan Swift. Another very famous work.
related to Roman Catholic Church, how it was controlled. Next comes Song of Innocence by William Blake. Very are definitions of consciousness, then rethinking of Milton's existential mythic states of paradise and fall. Next comes Poetical Sketches by William Blake. Another work by his Visions of Daughters of Albion by William Blake. Next comes Essay on Men by Alexander Pope. Next work is Vanity of Human Wishes by Samuel Johnson. The detail is given. It is an invitation a poem by Samuel Johnson. And another very famous work is a Dictionary of English Language. Talking about it. Life of Mr. Richard Savage. It's a short title called Life of Savage. It is the first major biography by Johnson. Next comes Racilus, Prince of Avicen. And this was the title. Choice of Life is another title of the work. Next comes the Stream of Consciousness. The term was first used by William James. Stream of Consciousness is talked about in detail here. And it was in the books. Principles of Psychology, talking about Principles of Psychology in detail here, which was by William James. Next comes The Golden Bar, very famous book by James Fraser, Scottish anthropologist. Next comes Mystic Masseuse, Mystic Masseuse, that is a comic novel by V.S. Naipaul, another Nobel laureate, very famous work. Next is Abandon the River, again by V.S. Naipaul. And Among the Believers, an Islamic journey, it is also by V.S. Naipaul himself. Next comes Haros and the Sea of Stories. It's a children's book by Salman Rushdie, including the Moors of Last Singh and Shame. It was the third novel by Salman Rushdie. Next comes Grimace. It is also by Salman Rushdie. It's a fantasy and science fiction novel by him. Published 1975. The Three Voices of Poetry. It's an essay by T.S. Eliot. Next comes Sartre's Sartre, meaning the Taylor Retailer by Thomas Carlyle. First published as a serial in Fraser's magazine. Next comes Tar Baby. Nobel Laureate Tony Morrison, also Pulitzer Prize winner. Another work is Jazz. It's a historical novel published 1992. My personal favorite is The Bluest Eye. It is so great. You must read it. It's talking about some of the greatest aspects of literature. Next comes The Movement. A term was coined by J.D. Scott, who was the editor of The Spectator, a very famous magazine. Next, the Imagism movement has been discussed. Or it is belonging to the 20th century American poetry. Next comes Epic Theater. Talking about the 20th, it was started in mid 20th century. Practicing a number of theater, including the political element of the time, through the creation of a new political theater. Next on Theater of Absurd. And the uh, Portable Theatre Company, being the group of late 1960s and early 1970s. Next comes The Well Wrought Urn by Clint Brooks, a really phenomenal work discussing uh, seminal texts in the new critical school of literary criticism. Title was from The Canonization. And another work is from the heresy of paraphrase. It's a polemic against the use of paraphrase in describing and criticizing a pew. Next comes the verbal icon by William K. Wimsett. The Iliads of the King. John Guptill. Another famous ballad, comical ballad by William Cooper. 
next comes the tower it's a poetry collection by nobel laureate w b yeats another work is the fall of the hyperion period by john keats the god of a small thing it's a divy novel by ronald roy and pulitzer prize sorry book of prize winner 1997 the garden it's a work by andrew marvel very famous work next comes bermundas by andrew marvel it's a poetic celebration of english colonialists arriving in the bermundas and establishing a new community during the mid 17th century marvel frames the poem as a song of appraisal song of praise sung by the group of english colonists as they arrived to the islands by boat the dunciad is a landmark mock heroic narrative poem by alexander pope published in three different versions at different times from 1728 to 1743 the poem celebrates a goddess dullness and the progress of her chosen agents as they bring decay imbelicity felicity and tastelessness to the kingdom of great britain these are some of the quick points reminding you of the overall aspects related to literature i hope you must have got really amazed by it and it will be really helpful thanks